For our final award of the evening, the Distinguished Service Award, it is my pleasure to tell you a bit, a bit about the posthumous recipient, Dr. Martin Criven. Dr. Criven is the founder. Yeah. So. Dr. Kriven is the founder of the Jazz Studies program that we celebrate tonight and is its coordinator from its beginning in 1973 until his retirement in 1992. And he was awarded Professor Emeritus of Music. A talented clarinetist as well as a music educator, his legacy lives on at William Patterson through the Martin and Joanne Kriven Endowed Scholarship, named for him and his wife, Joanne. Her photographs of the jazz artists who taught and performed on campus are an important part of our living jazz archives. Here to accept the award on behalf of his family is once again, Dr. David Dempsey. And I will add to our president's remarks that those photographs are on your table. You have books of Joanne Cribbins' photographs that you can take home with you tonight. So you're welcome. Uh, as Rufus Reed has already told you, Dr. Cribbin was a very persuasive man. Uh, he worked, did the groundwork, did the paperwork, did the legwork to toil with Dr. Arnold's spirit to create this jazz program, this jazz studies program 50 years ago. He persuaded Thad Jones to be the first director. How that ever happened will, I think, be a mystery for the ages. And as Rufus described to you, when Thad left to go to Denmark, Rufus at first turned the job down and now Thank God for all of us in the Jazz Studies program, most of all, including myself right now, that first week of subbing became 20 years. So thank you, Rufus, again. And I have to also, on a personal note, add that Dr. Criven was a huge mentor in my life. There have actually only been two people in that jazz coordinator position in the 50 years of the program, Dr. Criven and myself. And I could not think of a better mentor or more perfect mentor. Uh, you know, the great composer Igor Stravinsky, on his passport, listed his occupation as inventor. And uh, in that way, Dr. Criven was an inventor because you see, it's important that you understand that writing any academic program is a feat to behold, but he actually invented a whole new model for this. One that, you know, when we started this program, there were only four other such programs in the nation. Now, practically every college has them. We were the first jazz program in the New York area by a decade. And the idea of bringing in a major league person who was a living, working, major figure in jazz to lead an academic program was unheard of. We are the first school to do that. And if you take it to, for example, sports, well, we need a new basketball coach. Well, why don't we hire Michael Jordan? You know, it's thinking outside that box. And so bringing first Thad and then Rufus and then the amazing leadership that's been in this program is really the hallmark of that um, great inventor's work. So on that spirit, in that spirit, I will proudly accept this award and I will make sure that it goes to his family to whom we are still very closely connected. Thank you so much.